Here I have the Magasort. It's been uh, set up for a Neon now. It's got two coil driver outputs. It's got the Neon input mods. It's got a uh, tack output circuit, fan control circuit. I got it plugged into the gem stem. Here's Tuner Studio running on my uh, netbook. Let's see. Uh, if you watch closely here, this, this big gauge at the top is a tachometer. Turn it up. And there we go. Uh, we're at 115 RPM right now. Let's turn it up some more. There's 430. And up we go. Uh, 900 RPM. Um, showing the injector duty cycle here. Uh, let's turn up the air to the yeah air temperature. Oh, that's coolant. Okay, air. Up goes the air temperature. Coolant temperature. When I hit uh, 195, this middle light here will come on. As you can see that it's kind of dim. There we go. It's on. We're at 215. Um, that's the radiator fan output indicator. I'm using the uh, middle LED for driving a radiator fan. Turn it back down and it automatically goes back out. Um, let's see, throttle position sensor. That'll be this bottom gauge here. It's showing throttle position in percentage. 100%. O2 sensor. I've got it set up for a wide band. Uh, it's not working. I'll have to check. Check that one out. Oh, I haven't calibrated the uh, Megasquirt 2 for that yet. I'm going to send the uh, wide band calibration into the Megasquirt 2 CPU that gets me every time. Okay, so, anyways, other than that, and that's just a five minute fix. It's working great. I love Tuner Studio. Thank you, Phil, for writing such a great program. I love it. Uh, that's that. Next video will be the car running on it, I hope.